Greetings fellow Vikings, my name is Vinrenu and today I will show you how to mod Valheim using the Thunderstorm mod manager. I use it myself because it gives you the option to have different mod profiles, which is great if you play on an online server like Comfy Valheim that only allows certain mods, but you want to use different mods on your private world or you want to play vanilla at the same time uh, with some friends maybe. Um, and yeah, this mod manager gives you the option to have different profiles, that's why I'm using it. Um, first off, we want to install the Thunderstorm mod manager by pressing download over here. I will leave a link into, in the video description. And um, let's just download it over here and open it up. And there is the Windows pop up to, um, yeah, to allow it to install. I will select English for you guys and I will install it over here. You can change the installation folder, that's where the program will be installed. Um, you can choose if you want to have a desktop shortcut and you need to read and accept Overworld's, Overworld's terms and privacy policy, you value privacy, blah blah blah, and so on. Accept and install. So, uh, quick cut right here. Um, installation successful. Let's launch the mod minutes manager. So now you see the mod manager for the first time. Let's go and search for Valheim because we need to select the game we want to mod. We want, um, I will set it as default over here because I'm only modding Valheim with the Thunderstorm mod manager. Okay, now we are in the profile selection tab. Um, and we will create a new profile. Profile will store its own mods independently from other profiles. Uh, let's call it modded, modded Valheim. And let's create the profile and then let's select the profile. Um, now we are in the profile page. We don't have any mods installed yet. Um, I just want to show you real, real quick. Um, if you open up the Thunderstorm mod manager, you always have, have the option to start vanilla over here. You can start modded um, with the installed mods of the current profile. Or you can go to settings, profile and change the profile to a different profile, create new profiles and so on. If you want to have different mod profiles. So what we want to do for our modded Valheim profile over here is uh, we want to go to the online tab and we want to get the Babinex pack uh, for Valheim first. Simply download it over here, latest version, download with dependencies. That's yeah the baseline base modding tool you need um, as a re requirement for almost every mod. So now we have that over here in our installed mods. What we want to get next is the Yotun library. Um, we want to get that over here with the picture with the V in the middle. That's also a requirement for a lot of mods. It also comes with the hook gen patcher. This library over here is also needed for Valheim Raft. So we can now install all the mods we want that are over here. Let's install Gizmo for example. Let's go with the original Gizmo by Rolo. And let's download that. Gizmo is a mod that allows you to rotate building pieces in every direction. And now we want to get Valheim Raft um, as an example. And uh, yeah, I want to show you how to install mods that are not in the Thunderstore um, yeah, online pool. So Valheim Raft is only available at Nexus Mods. Um, you need to log in create a free account to be able to download uh, from here. I will also leave the mod page in the description of the video. If we go on the first tab over here in the mod description, we can also see in the requirements, we need the Yotun Valheim library and Babinex. We have both already installed. And now we can go to files and um, do a manual download of the Valheim Raft mod. It says additional files required. 
we already checked our requirements we have those two let's go for the slow and free wall uh, download i don't have premium and let's save it to my download folder um, i actually already downloaded it before um, in preparation of this video let's go into our downloads folder and let's unpack it um, you can either use WinRAR or 7-zip um, you need the program to unpack, unpack um, that archive over here and then you get this nice folder so what we want to do next to manually install a mod is to click on settings over here and to go uh, and we want to go to browse profile folder over here it opens up a new um, folder and now we can see we are in our modded valheim folder and here we want to go into bebinx the um, baseline mod tool and then into plugins as we can see we already have gizmo yotun hook and hook and patcher and so on in here these are all installed mods from over here and to manually install a new mod we simply oops can i get that in the foreground please okay let's do it like this then so we simply drag in the valheim raft folder into the plugins folder over here it will not show up in the installed mods list in Thunderstore because it's manually installed, but it will work. Um, and that's also how you install every other mod that you download from Nexus Mods or every other page. Okay, let's jump into game and test if it worked. We will click on Start Modded and Valheim will be launched via Steam. You can see it over here. So while I'm started, we can also have a look into Webinex, and it says over here uh, four plugins to load: loading Valheim Raft, Gizmo, um, Yotun library also loaded successful. And let's jump into a game with my cheater character. I have a uh, um, yeah word simply to test out mods and um, yeah play around and over here i will open up the console by pressing f5 if you don't have the console you need to go up to steam where are you um, you need to go to steam to valheim right click its properties in english and then over here you have the startup options and you need to type in minus console and uh, restart Valheim. And then you have the option to press F5 in game and uh, open up the console. Let's make it time of day 0 0.5. Ah, let's get dev commands first so we can use in any commands at all. Then let's make it time of day 0 0.5 so you can see something. And let's uh, get uh, debug mode. This allows us to press the key B like Bravo. And then we have the no placement cost true. And now, as you can see over here, uh, we have everything unlocked uh, because of the debug mode. And we can build the Valheim mods raft base. We can build uh, the sails and so on. And as you can see, we also have the gizmo mod, mod working. You can see these circles over here, so I can rotate pieces in the normal direction. If I press left alt, or yeah, alt, the alt key, I can rotate into that direction, the blue circle. And if I press shift by default, I can rotate into that direction. And I can combine that, of course, to my liking. So, um, yeah, both, both mods are working as expected. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thank you very much for watching and see you all in Valhalla!